Back here at home, a special mass service was held today at St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church in Yonkers. Members joined together to show support for the country. News 12's Erica Rydell has the story. Today is a very special day in our community because it's the first Sunday that we've had to come together in prayer since the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. I strongly believe in the sincere prayers that the prayer will win always. It was really just the power of prayer that the Soviet Union collapsed 30 years ago without even the shed of a one drop of blood. When Ukraine became independent, we did not go there. We didn't bother him or do anything. Why did he decide to bother us? Because the man is sick. My son said he is a devil. He is not a human, he's a devil, he's a sick man. We're praying, all of us, because there is an almighty greater than any premier of any country. He needs to be stopped and we pray. We are so proud of our people in Ukraine and how they are standing up to this. My uh, stepson's father, he got himself a Kalashnikov to protect himself. I'm crying night and day and I'm begging my son, please, he said, mom, I'm not leaving. Uh, our President Zelensky is not leaving either. Can't eat, you know, I can't sleep. The only thing I can do is pray right now. It's one of uh, sort of the best weapons we have at this point. We are, you know, believers in God, and we believe and should believe that prayer does help. God answers our prayers always, but in His own time. Truth and justice always wins in the end. Always. And that was News 12's Erica Rydell taking us inside the service there. And among the many politicians you saw in attendance, Westchester County Executive George Latimer. He declared today a day of prayer for Ukraine.